Okay, describe a perfect day in Zombieland. Mm -hmm. Um. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Here we go, baby! Man, we're getting good at this. I love being back with everyone. It just kind of feels like getting to hang out with my buddies again. It was crazy when we came back because Woody and Jesse both didn't know who I was. <laughs> I think we figured out what was working well in the first one and capitalized on it for this one. Start talking. You first. Oh, my name's Tallahassee. Nevada. You know, you're coming into a family experience, and so I feel really lucky that I was able to tap into that. No! That's my right! Oh, my apologies, little Elvis. Does he kind of remind you of... Hello, everyone. Am I hallucinating? And they said, didn't you know you're a poor man's Jesse Eisenberg? They said, what? Hi, I'm Columbus. Madison. You know why she's still alive? Because zombies eat brains and she ain't got any. <laughs> a beam of light in a world of darkness is the non-judgmental way of describing her. It felt like it would be a fantastic standalone movie even if it wasn't associated with the first one. Time to nut up or shut up. Just because it rhymes doesn't make it a great catchphrase. <laughs> Ew. Didn't see that coming, right? The thing that you're gonna like is just how we get along or how we don't get along. You guys, they're much more afraid of us than we are of them. You'll be the first to die, but I like your enthusiasm. You might die. Yeah, thank you for your sacrifice.